in this chapter from shlok 1 to 7 description of god's glory and power of yoga and from shlok 8 to 11 bhakti yoga is described bhakti yoga and its benefits and glory from shlok 12 to 18 arjun praises god and asks him to discuss to describe his glory is himself because nobody else can do that and from 19 shlok 19 to 42 the lord describes his glory and power of yoga this is about this chapter i have translated the bhagavad gita in simple english precisely so that everybody can read and understand it now i will read from shlok 1 to shlok 42 of chapter 10 lord krishna said mahabhav listen to my prime advice once again i am repeating this because i am keen to ensure your welfare in view of your devotion towards me arjun neither the saints nor the gods are aware of my incarnation because i am the cause of creation of all gods and all great saints and whoever realizes my everlasting immortal nature devoid of birth and death and understands me as the almighty god in fact such a person gets rid of all mortal sins arjun i am the cause of power of decision making of the decisive man realization of truth wisdom forgiveness and the ability to control all senses i alone enable the stability of mind creation destruction courage and fear ahimsa equanimity satisfaction the power to tolerate difficulties as a part of religion desire to donate reputation to disrepute or all these human attributes are indeed my creations arjun sapt maharishi the seven great sages and even before them four others shankadi swambhu and 14 manus all of these were created by me i felt their need and it was my decision the humanity at large comprises their subject the person who realizes my infinite power by carefully practicing dhyana yoga a kind of religious abstraction becomes a part of me and assumes my form only i create the entire world everything originates from me my devotees understand this rather well and worship me as the lord the almighty with all their heart my devotees who constantly remember me and are prepared to sacrifice their lives such devotees exchange their views amongst themselves only to strengthen their realization about my omnipresence and all pervading powers they are with me and i am with them always their constant devotion and loving worship makes them realize about my prime prime truth prime after realization the same indeed they become one with me in order to show them the right path i destroy the darkness of their minds with light of knowledge arjun said lord you are prime brahman is your prime abode and you are the purest among pure because all the sages call you god among demigods you are birthless and omnipresent similarly devarishi narad asit deval 
and maharishi vyas also considered you to be the highest just in the same manner as you have explained to me keshav whatever you have ta- told me i consider it to be true bhagwan neither devas nor danavas are fully aware of your wonderful disposition you cause the birth of all living beings you are the god of all living beings you are the sage among sages you are the almighty the lord of universe you alone know what you really are therefore you are the only one capable of describing all those divine attributes and manifestation through which you are omnipresent in all the worlds yogeshwar i am indeed wonderstruck to think in what manner i should always remember you and the manifestations of yours on which i should meditate janardan kindly describe to me once again your yog shakti and the manifestations in detail in fact the more i listen to you the more i want to know my quest for knowledge to know about you is not satisfied at all the lord said kurukshetra arjun i will now explain to you briefly my divine manifestations because in reality there is no end to the details of these arjun i am the atma present in the hearts of all living beings and in fact i am the beginning the middle and the end of all i am vishnu among 12 sons of aditi i am the sun among all objects that emulate me my light i am the glory of 49 lords of the wind and i am the moon among the stars i am the samved among vedas i am indra among the demigods i am mind among the senses and i am chetna the life force of all living beings i am shankar among 11 rudras i am kubera the lord of wealth among yakshas and rakshasas i am the fire among the eight elements and i am sumeru mountain among the hawi mountains i am the chief chief braspati among the priests part i am skand among the army commanders and i am the ocean among the water bodies among the great sages i am bhrigu and the prime letter omkar among the alphabets and i am jap yajna among the yajnas and among the stable objects i am the himalayan mountain among the trees i am people among the dev rishis i am sage bharat i am chitrada among the gandharvas and among those who have achieved salvation i am kapil muni i am uchche dejva the horse born out of nectar among the horses i am iravat elephant among the ele- great elephants and i am the king among all men i am the vajra among the weapons and kam dhenu among the cows among the serpents i am vasuki the chief serpent and i am kam dev the sex desire for the birth of children in accordance with the scriptures i am the shesh nag among cobras i am the chief of aquatic living beings varun devta i am aryama of the departed ancestors and among the administrators of law i am yama 
I am Prahlad among the Daityas. I am time for those who count. I am the lion among the animals and Garud among the birds. I am the air among those that purify and I am Ram among the warriors. I am crocodile among the fishes and I am Sri Bhagrathi, the Ganges river among the rivers. Arjun, I am the beginning, the middle and the end of all these worlds. I am the spiritual education of Brahman Vidya among all forms of education. And I am the winning logic among those who argue. I am the letter A among the letters and among Samas. I am Danad named Samas and I am the imperishable or destroyer or destruction with faces on all sides and an unimaginable vast form, the guardian who sustains all living beings. I am the destroyer of death, I am the cause of birth of all living beings, and among the divine women I am the Kriti, Shri, Vok, and Smriti, Medha, Dhriti, and Kshama. I am Brihatsman among the worldly songs, and I am Gayatri among the mantras. Among the months I am Mag Shrish or spring among the seasons. I am the gamble of the cheats, I am the clout of the influential ones, I am the victory of the victors, I am the decision of decisive, and I am Satvik Tattva of the noble persons. I am Vasudev among the Rishis, I am Dhanajay, that is you among the Pandvas, among the Munis, I am Veda Vyas, and I am Sukracharya among the poets. I am the power of, to punish those who impart punishment. I am the winning strategy of those who win. I am the silence of the secretive and I am the wisdom of the wise. Arjun, I am the cause of all living beings. There is no living or non-living creature who is free from me. Paratampa. There is no end to my divine manifestations. In fact, I have explained to you some details about the divine attributes in brief. Whatever you find godly or of divine attributes of great power, virtue or fame are in fact all my attributes, fragments or parts of me. Arjun, where is the need for you to know all these? In fact, I have through my all-pervading Yoga Shakti, assume the entire universe as one of my minute manifestations. This is how Lord Krishna describes himself to Arjun. And if we really think about it, that is what life is, that is what universe is, and that is what God is.